Well, I got my start in the Southeast ACSM, and, uh, which is a very strong chapter and a good foundation for me. So I was on the uh, executive board there. Uh, subsequently, I was uh, president of the Southeast ACSM. I became a regional chapter representative to the national ACSM. Uh, since then, I've been on the board of trustees. Um, I'm currently uh, first vice president. And uh, along the way, I served as the associate editor of uh, Bedside Sports and Exercise. And now I've been the editor in chief for the past uh, approximately five years. Well, I don't think it's original to me. It's something that a lot of people say, and that is the uh, academic diversity of ACSM. We have people uh, studying, uh, researching many, many different topic areas, uh, many, many different types of practitioners, uh, and I think that's a major strength. So I think the, the way you continue that is to continue to have a, an annual meeting that serves all of those uh, stakeholders. Uh, you continue to uh, pay attention, for example, uh, in my role as Editor-in-Chief of MedSci Sports and Exercise, I recognize that we have a wide variety of submissions, several different topic areas, and we have to continue to serve all of those interests to maintain the strength of the organization. Well, I come from a, a background of basic science, and uh, as I said, I've said before, I have a strong appreciation for the many different areas in ACSM, but I think basic science is an important foundation. So a major priority for me would be to maintain that. Uh, there are certainly challenges to basic science uh, in, in all the organizations today because there's a lot of uh, reductionism, a lot of specialization. So small specialty meetings, for example, are beginning to challenge uh, large annual meetings. And uh, I think that uh, an important uh, role for ACSM is to lay claim to the integrated physiology of exercise. I think this is a I think we're the home for that for that category of researchers and we should maintain that strength.